Hello all, I just thought I would pop on and give you a little bit of a catch up. We're heading very quickly into Vlogmas time and I wanted to get a, a quick video up of the makes that I've done before we sort of get to that period. I can't believe we are what, 16th of November already. It's absolutely flying past. Um, I have made a couple of things, I will show you in a second, but first of all I wanted to say thank you to everyone who left me such lovely comments on my last couple of vlogs and especially on my one year podiversary vlog. I can't believe it's so quickly, a year's gone by so quickly. I've just got in from work, so I'm, if I'm a little bit dishevelled, I will get there, but but bear with me, as I say, as I seem to say a lot. Um, one, of the, one of the comments made me laugh. Uh, I, I use the, I have got a remote control clicky thing for the phone and I can't find it anywhere, but I have found that I can do it on my watch. So if I look down a lot, your camera, you'll know why, because I'm clicking in and out, or I'll try not to click in and out. Um, I'm not wearing anything handmade today. This is a sweater dress that I bought a couple of years ago, actually from Celtic & Co. It's one of my favourites, this one. Um, the only thing with this is, I don't know if any of you found it, I really struggle with tights. Because I'm quite short in the body, they seem to end up up here and it's really uncomfortable I'm messing about with them all the time I've tried snag tights Marks and Spencers now if any of you have got any recommendations for tights for people who've got short bodies please let me know because I find them really uncomfortable <laughs> I used to wear these hold up tights all the time um but they're not really practical for school first of all they're too thin and second of all just no not practical so if you know if you've got any recommendations please let me know um and yeah because they're cutting me off in the middle at the moment right what i got up to this week i have made one two three garments and i've got a little project in the making at the moment i talked about what i wanted to make with this fabric last vlog and i made the Nina Lee, South, Southport, menopause brain, Southport, I think, dress, Southbank dress, South, one of those. Um, I have made it before in this lovely fabric that I had from um, Andrea at Beyond the Pink Door. Now with this one, I think I remember telling you that I had to move or adjust the pocket position because they were, it was way too low. When I tried this on, I thought, do I want pockets or not? Am I going to use them? And I know we all love to have pockets and dresses, but I decided against it because it was giving a little bit of a bump where there shouldn't be a bump. So I thought, no, I'm just going to go with the straight dress, leave the pockets out. I did cut them out, but decided then that I was going to not put them into the dress itself. And I'm really pleased with the way it looks and it hangs this. So this is my Christmas dress and this lovely cable knit. And this was from First for Fabrics. And I think this probably still got this in and many other colours as well. But I bought this last year and it's been sat there languishing in my stash and I needed to get it sewn up. So we have the dress. Now I will pop some video footage of me wearing these if I've got brown boots and blue tights on you'll have to excuse that but like I say I've just got in from work but you'll see how it looks so I went without the pockets just sewed the seams up straight down this is one of the quickest makes ever uh, it probably construction wise you attach the front to the back then you put the sleeves in there's no gathering it's just a, a um you just attach the sleeve, there's no gathering to it at all, jersey. Uh, you then attach your, and then you've only got one, two, three things left to do. So you've got your cuffs, your collar, and your bottom band. Now, because obviously it's got a bottom band around it, there's no hemming. I did all of this on the overlocker. It's so easy, really, really is easy. It, in fact, it's that easy that 
after I'd made this one and I took my time with this one. It probably took me about an hour and a half because I was taking my time. I haven't made the pattern recently, but, and I had got a film on and I got, I think Miracle on 34th Street going on in the background. So I kept stopping and watching snippets of that. It's one of my favorites. So I made that one. And then because I'd got the pattern pieces out and fabric ready, I made another one. Let me move over a bit. It needs a bit of an iron, this one. I haven't ironed it yet. This took me half an hour to make because the pattern was fresh in my mind, because I'd already got the fabric out, because the pattern pieces were all ready to do. Again, no pockets in this, but I don't think this would have looked well with pockets because of the weightiness of the fabric. And it is quite a heavy fabric, this. Um, but half an hour from start to finish. Again, all on the overlocker, this one. In fact, probably the longest time was changing the overlock thread. So really pleased, really pleased that I've got these fabrics out of my stash and made up. So I've made those two and then I've got a little bit of time left. So I thought, right, OK, I'm in Jersey mode. I will, I'm going to pause you a minute, put it back on Mabel. Bear with me. I need to find it on here again now. Hang on a second. That actually works really well. <laughs> Little button on here. Right, so because I've got some time left and um, I got the fabric that I mentioned last vlog, which was this lovely um, soft jersey, again, from First for Fabrics, this one, I made a, a Sheridan sweater. Now, it, it does take a little bit more fabric, this one. There is some gathering in this but again it's a fairly simple construction front to back again put pop the sleeves in then you've got in fact i think you put the neck band on first and then you put the sleeves in and then you've just got the hem band and the bottom cuff band there is some gathering in the bottom of the sleeves with this one because it's quite a large sleeve so you run some gathering stitches around the bottom here and then gather it in to the cuff and then pop the band on at the bottom. So you've got a bit of room in the top part here. So you've got some, and it's this fabric suits it really well because it's it's a pattern that needs some sort of fluidity uh, in the fabric. I have made this previously in a Mind the Maker fabric. And it was when I first sort of started sewing. And when I ordered the fabric, I ordered, I thought enough to make up the South Bank dress. I've got it right this time. And when I ordered it, I thought, oh gosh, that's quite expensive. It's £14.50 a metre. I ordered two metres of it. It came. Did I order two? I can't remember. Maybe two and a half, I thought, metres of it to make the dress. And when it came, I pulled it out. I thought, that's never two and a half metres. And it wasn't, it was a metre and a half. And I hadn't read the little drop down bit on the, where you buy the fabric and it was £14.50 per half metre. And it's quite, it was a quilted jersey and it's quite a heavy fabric, quite a structured fabric, which would have probably looked great as the dress. But for the Sheridan, I think because of the sleeves, you do need that bit of fluidity in the fabric. Now, the only thing I would change with this, and I'm still half tempted to do it as it is, um, is to remove the neck band and put, I've still got quite a bit of fabric left, but to remove the neck band and put a higher neck band in it. So it's more like a sort of a turtleneck, but a bit slouchier, if you know what I mean. It's just the way that it's sitting on me at the moment. I think it would look better with more up at the top here. I will pop this on and show you, but I'm gonna to have to put jeans on for that because you don't wanna see this with the tights. So that one, really pleased with that. So that was three garments and I made that all in one on, on the Saturday when, um, when I was watching Christmas films. I think I went through three, maybe four Christmas films. So really, really quick. Now I was watching Rachel uh, this morning 
and she was talking about a pattern that both her and Tamlin have made, which is the carry cardigan, I think it is. And I'm really liking the idea of that. I think for, especially for work, it gets quite cold and that looks ideal. So I'm going to have to do a bit of research on fabric and patterns for that one later on. Right, the other thing I have started on was um, the little, I should call her a young lady really, but the, the, the one of my students at school um, who I look after is, it's her birthday next week and she's turning 12. So I thought I might make her a lunar leap in for her birthday. So I've got this far. So we have <laughs> we have a body and we have legs. If you recognise the fabric, it's a little bit of the Liberty fabric I had left over from the lining of the coat. So we've got Luna's body. We have got two arms that they need when you make the arms up. You because I'm doing it on the sewing machine. There are a couple. There are at least a couple of ways I know that people have made these up. I prefer to do it on the sewing machine rather than by hand and I turn it inside out. I know that you can sew it along the seams on the outside but I'm going to have to sew this up just that enclosed bit up by hand and then we will have we go on that way and that way we'll have <gasps> you know I'm not going to edit that bit out um Right, hang on a second. It'll have Luna's arms. And then you've got a little bunny head. Isn't she cute? And obviously, she needs to have her eyes and her nose put on. And then I need to make her a little dress. I have made one of these before. I will pop a picture on and I think just going to grab the book it's a very very simple little dress that you make you can make all sorts of things for for the i mean you can make a coat for them but let me see if i can find you the shirts trousers a waistcoat rabbit's better dressed than my husband <laughs> I'm trying to find this little dress that I made before. So it was this one, little polka dot dress. And I put a little bow, instead of the um, collar, I put a little bow at the collar here. They're quite sweet. And I think what I might do as well, I think you can make a pair of, yeah, there we go, a pair of French bloomers for them. I'm sure I've got some little scraps. I mean, in fact, I might make it out of that Liberty fabric, just a little pair of, um, little tiny pair of bloomers to go with it so I'll show you that next time round. I do want to make another one as well for another friend of mine who's having a baby and she's asked me specifically to make her one and I've got so many scraps of fabric that you can use for the um, ears and for the pads of the feet and for the, the little um, dresses and the little bits of clothing that it might be nice to use them up for that and the other thing I bought this week was I know we we're talking about making Christmas stockings so I have bought this some this isn't for the stockings this is for something else which I'll tell you about in a second but I've got some really lovely red velvet over there I have got and then I bought a um some fat quarters and we've got And this is to decorate the stockings with, I think, at the moment. That one. And that one. The same. That one. One. And finally, that one. Haven't quite decided how they're going to go yet, but um, 
they will be used for the stockings either for the stockings or last year um alex judge put on a tutorial on how to make a christmas tree garland and to make up the christmas trees so i have bought and i think this might be a bit too thick but i think i might be able to take it down i have bought some goldy colored it's like an antique gold cord i've got three meters of that wadding and i was going to make have a go at it last year but i definitely want to have a go at it this year and i keep saying this and hopefully i won't run out of time so that's the plans i need to finish off luna i need to make another one but once i've done one and they are fairly quick to make up a little bit fiddly a lot fiddly um but once you've made one up like the dress uh, you've got the pattern in your head and you know what you're doing so the second one usually makes up a lot quicker so two of those to make and i'm going to make this first one i've made in um a gray felt as an arm <laughs> but i have got the first one i made i made up in this sort of beige canvas material so i've dragged it out of my stash so it's a bit creased I think I prefer it in that it seems to be easier to work with than the felt. You've got to be careful with the felt that you don't stretch it. And especially when you're stuffing it with um, the stuffing, you've got to be really careful that you don't poke through the, the felt. Maybe I'm being a bit too vicious with it. But so those two, I'm going to have a look at that carry cardigan because I really fancy the idea of that. And then I've actually ordered some fabric. Uh, I've got an idea of what I want to make for our Christmas do, our work's Christmas do. It's either going to be for that or for, I know I've said the red dresses for Christmas day, but it'll be for something over Christmas. It's a pattern that I've made before. It's one that I absolutely love. And I've been, had this idea in my mind for quite a while now. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I want to try and make it first. And then if it's a total fail, um, I won't, well, I will probably tell you if it's a total fail, but yeah, let's just see if it works out. It's using a fabric that I haven't used before as well. So it should be interesting. Right, on that note, I'm going to sign off. Um, thank you again for all your lovely support uh, on these ramblings. And I will catch up with you all very soon, hopefully before Vlogmas. Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye. thought I'd pop back on I've just been doing the filming the bits where I put the clothes on and what have you so I've got the Sheridan on now I think the neckline will look better slightly higher heads heads the, the, the turkey turkey neck um just up here a little bit rather than down here and I also think and I know I haven't ironed this and it was done on the overlocker, but I think the shoulders need to come up more. So I can I can I can adjust that quite easily. I'll just run them back on again with the overlocker and take a little bit of this. It needs a bit of the fabric taking out here. 
but other than that i think we're okay and i did put my black boots on zips are not my friend at the moment are they so that's another one that i'm going to have to try and get back on these boots i must say that these boots are quite old and um they have been poppy chewed at the top and she's quite a bit older than poppy now um Yes. Anyone replace a zip in, in a boot before? Can't be that difficult, she says. Yeah. And it's only that bit that she's chewed, actually. She hasn't actually gone through the pleather. Um, they weren't that expensive. But there's nothing wrong with them, and I don't like throwing them away when they can be fixed. Right, ramblings, I'm off. I will speak to you soon. Bye. Thank you.